Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this, this is the continuation of like my interview experiences series of my other companies, uh, which I am not joined or like not selected. So uh, I just want to state the lessons I learned and also what are the questions I have asked and uh, questions asked and also difficulty. So and also this video is about like Salesforce interview experience. The, in this video, I'll talk like whether really uh, learning only data structures will get you a job or not. So now let's see. Uh, I have talked about how I got the opportunity as as a as usual in my previous uh, videos. And second one, uh, uh, what is the difficulty of like OA round and what is the difficulty of like interview rounds and uh, managerial rounds? So first, let's see how I got the opportunity. So so. Uh, so I know about the Salesforce uh, website. So I have gone through the Salesforce website and all the career links, everything. So uh, in that, uh, I'm I'm consistently applying the uh, uh, different different company, different different uh, roles in the Salesforce. So none of the roles are getting selected. But what I did is like I so I have subscribed to the openings, the Salesforce openings. Uh, so whenever any job opening uh, will come right, uh, they will send the email to us. So as soon as I get the email, uh, uh, in, a, in a minute, I applied, the, uh, applied to the company, directly applied. So then I understand like if you are applied in 5 to 10 minutes of job opening, right, there is high chances of getting uh, your resume as like shortlisted, if your resume is good enough. So my resume is, is fairly good, so uh, I, got a, I got a shortlisted uh, Message mail from the recruiter and recruiter, recruiter called me and uh, asked me my available time to schedule the interview. So this happened in COVID time. So um, so and also that time I'm slowly starting this uh, uh, this DSA kind of thing and uh, I am much into DSA and completely ignored some of the Java basic concepts. So I'll, I'll explain uh, to you more. So first is like OERON. So OERON is purely based on like uh, coding questions. They have asked me similarly, I think uh, three or two coding questions. I'm not remember, but I think uh, time is around 60 minutes. So I think uh, there are three, I guess, or two. So uh, one question is easy. One question is medium and third one is very hard. I'm not able to solve that one. I still remember only few test cases are passed. But uh, after the OERON, it's mostly talked about like all your dynamic program questions only. Like. So, so first one is hash map question. I'm able to solve, and rest two are like DP questions. So after that round, uh, so interviewer called me. Like she said, uh, uh, you are uh, gone through this uh, OA round. Uh, uh, tell me the available time to schedule the tech first technical round of interview. So uh, I have given this available time. I took almost one week time to practice uh, all these problems. Now this time. Uh, uh, she like the interviewer is she like she asked me the first question uh, is like mostly my about my project uh, uh, everything and straight away she jump into the coding question so the coding question she asked me is like a dp problem uh, uh, so uh, actually i just started dp that's why i'm very much new into this dp because i'm very scared about this dp at that time in uh, two years back right so i'm I'm able to think a solution. I give an approach, but that is a brute force approach, which she is not very very satisfied and asking me to optimize. So I know the recursion concepts very basics. I think of recursion. So and I'm trying to I'm trying to answer uh, recursion recursive approach. She said uh, it also might not be the best complexity, but uh, but there is some other way to achieve the best complexity. So I think a lot to, to get this. Uh, so mostly I think I need to use a DP like storing the data it's mostly it's a kind of cricket game i think so counting six four two uh something some kind of cricket game so uh, i have given so it finally i said i'm not able to get the optimized solutions and then he asked she asked me to code in a that whatever second approach which i told recursive approach so then i have coded in recursive approach it has lot of uh, i think edge cases i have missed a lot of edge cases so she said she pointed out like you have missed a few edge cases so then I'm, I'm trying to uh, find out edge cases and I'm trying to I try to address. Yeah, I'm trying to address the edge cases, but uh, she somehow convinced. Her. So the second she in, second she asked about uh, st uh, about like uh, what are the what are the backend development I'm doing like. So I told her, I'm currently backend uh, like.
like working on like Spring Boot uh, microservices. Then he then she asked me she gave a problem statement called GitHub. Uh, let's let's assume uh, GitHub GitHub as like a notification uh, web hook is there, right? You need to uh, read a data. Uh, you need to first you need to there are like two APIs are there in GitHub. One is like uh, push the data into push the data. Second thing is like uh, read a data from the web hook. So he asked me she asked me she asked me to design an API. Uh, so first I, I I took around five minutes of time to understand the problem statement. This is the because uh, this is not a DB, DB like a data structure right? This is something different. So which I am not very familiar. So uh, once I got the requirements clear, then I have uh, okay. Then finally I drill down. Okay, she is asking me to implement a REST API. So then I have declared a REST template uh, class in the Java uh, uh, in the in a, in a in the Java. So REST template REST template dot uh, get call post call and also what is the path I am uh, and how I pass the path and how I send the parameters. Uh, when it comes to post object, how I am sending the request body. When it comes to get object, I'm, how I am getting and uh, assigning back to the assigning back to the uh, uh, variable object, and how I am doing this serialization, deserialization. So uh, I have created two functions and I have created main function. Uh, everything I did in a notepad only. There is no intelligence also to uh, to get the exact syntaxes. So see, okay with syntaxes. So I have complete. I have completed the code in around ten minutes. Uh, so she verified. I think she is happy. Like uh, then uh, she asked me like uh, if you have any questions. Then I asked me like what she is doing in the company. Like what are the technologies she is working on. So then uh, he uh, he ex she explained everything. Post that uh, the interview is completed. I got a call from a recruiter for the next round of interview. So the next is like two rounds. One is like uh, um, one is like a technical uh, another technical round and third one and last round is like hiring manager round. So both are both will be in the same one hour one hour. There is no gap. So uh, I don't have any option. Right? I simply said okay. I thought of taking some time for the hiring manager round or manager round to prepare, but uh, uh, he said like both should be happening in a single uh, uh, in a single time frame. So actually parallelly multiple people are also interviewing. I think parallelly. That's why uh, she said everything should be completed in a single day. So I said okay. Uh, so the first question I got uh, from the technical round is like uh, uh, explain about uh, tree. Tree con uh, a, I got a uh, level order traversal. So then uh, uh, I have explained it's an easy problem. So I have explained. Then uh, uh, hey, given uh, uh, convert uh, taken in order and a post order convert into the binary uh, search tree, I guess. So yeah, I took almost 20 minutes to get a solution uh, because I, I didn't practice previously. Like, so I have I'm able to come up with a solution. Then he uh, then he asked me about the uh, mostly he asked me everything on trees only. Like that I don't I don't know. Like mostly he asked me all the three concepts. So then he asked me the uh, I think uh, bottom bottom traversal of tree. So. Uh, yeah, I have also tried to code. I, I have practiced the top traversal. So uh, previously, uh, th then I thought of it's a variation of uh, that one. So I have given the approach of bottom traversal with the help of hash map uh, storing those indexes, uh, and storing the levels and uh, levels and left and right uh, uh, in left and right uh, increment values. So yeah, so I think uh, that's that went well. Uh, 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 so the next is the hiring manager round. So now let's see. Like uh, all the DSA rounds are went well. I thought of I might get offer uh, if I am gone through this hiring manager round. So here they won't ask me any kind of technical questions. They uh, like basically DSA questions. They didn't ask even system designing questions also. Initially they have asked me whatever whatever uh, project I am worked on. So I explained uh, uh, about my anomaly detection engine project. Uh, and what is the tech stack I am working on, uh, and whatever technologies I know, Kafka and Elasticsearch. Then he asked me the question about Java internals, which I didn't even know, I didn't even practice. So he asked me like, uh, um, how you will solve the, uh, I think, uh, uh, producer consumer problem. I think there is a famous concurrency problem, right? So he asked me that one. Uh, I don't know, but I am able to answer. Like I know this blocking queue. So I told like uh, there is there is a like uh, continuous deadlock will be there. 
to stop the deadlock uh, we need a blocking queue and uh, one thread will keep on pushing and the second thread will be uh, will consume the data and it, once the consume it will be, it will be removed uh, once this achieve the capacity or something like that so i have implemented this linked blocking queue concept then he asked me about uh, how java storing data uh, how java how java memory he how java memory works like memory allocation allocation so it's basically heap memory and stack uh, stack memory right so so uh, so basically recursive will be basically uh, stored in a stacks so that's why some some at some point of time at some point of time you will say stack or stack exceed exception or heap exceed exceptions so he asked me all these thing i have addressed the concept but he asked me how internally java do the garbage collection i don't know this concept at all because uh, in no companies asked me and also i didn't gone through i said normally uh, uh, through garbage collection uh, java has automatic garbage collection uh, uh, so it will so during that garbage collection system won't it's basically complete stopping of system but uh, it's very hard to find ourselves when it will start it, it's as fast as that one so then he asked me i am okay i understand the stack heap and uh, this uh, automatic but i'm not but i just want to understand how internally uh, it is uh, uh, collect, it is removing that uh, unused objects all those things so this is i'm completely blank out like i don't even know anything so i just think about like 5 to 10 minutes i told like maybe new cleared newly created objects which are the objects which are in the particular function right those will be cleared out once the function life life time ends and uh, and also i didn't know right so i don't have proper answer so simply i said uh, no i don't know then he might he shocked he shocked but he put very very strange expression on me like so i understand now then i realized okay uh, i need to brush up that java concepts also to get these interviews along with the dsa uh, so it's basically learning curve me so i have asked uh, directly to him how can you could you explain uh, what is the what are the concepts i need to learn to get this to get this prop to get this solution so then he talked about like uh, uh, some r1 there are like two different ways of uh, storing a garbage collection and uh, one is like newly created uh, objects second one is like old created objects in the old created objects there is like uh, multiple uh, levels are there so depending on the life cycle uh, uh, like Uh, the the objects which are applicable at all the levels right will be stored in a some particular location so it's basically some concept i have i have, I have learned after that one but uh, ultimately after that round the next day i didn't get any info from uh, hr i thought it i rejected because i didn't follow up because i know i i completely fucked up the interview so uh, after one week i got the standard uh, template like uh, so we stored your resume uh, we are not moving forward something like that yeah i said okay uh, this is like one of my one learning curve i think the dsa is not only important for interviews but uh, the core the core concepts of java and core concepts of like concurrency also equally important especially when it comes to hiring manager rounds and uh, like top level uh, rounds right like with most experienced people yeah this is about like my salesforce interview experience it's very, it's very nice interview like all the interviews are very friendly but i think last interview i thought they already uh, got some people some person uh, i think parallelly also interviews are happening great right? they might found uh, some suitable person for this particular job role because the job role which i am applying also is completely opposite like it's a basically a devops it's not completely devops like devops kind of development job so mine is completely back end software engineer right so that's why interview also not don't hesitate to complete to, to cut the call as very very fast like so in 40 minutes only the interview is completed uh, um, i understand okay but the ba- but the worst thing is like uh, because of this uh, uh, a covid right and also lo- and that time uh, there is no current uh, for me almost three three consecutive days we don't have current in our street because there is a lot of thunder and everything all the poles got collapsed so i traveled from one from my office my from my home to some other relative home uh, uh, who who has the current 
and then uh, uh, I give an interview, they have given me room to get an interview. So after doing all the hard work and finally, yeah, not able to select. Anyway, it's fine. Like it's a learning curve for me. Uh, and, and also whatever, so whatever questions I didn't answer, right? I used to th thoroughly practice so that in the next rounds, I, I should able to answer well if, if by chance, if similar questions are asked. So this is about my sales push interview experience. If you really like the video, if you find uh, some valuable insights from this video, please like and subscribe and share to your friends. Uh, it, it's very helpful for them. And we'll soon meet in the upcoming interviews. Uh, till then, bye-bye.